For we are bound by the color, the sacred union of our every thought and emotion. Happy New Year, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Ninja Gamer, and today I'll be playing Archon Mode with my brother Tosh. Today we're going to be trying to go ahead and demonstrate oracles, at least that's what the video was titled, so hopefully we can go ahead and show you guys some fun oracle play. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. We're going to have and playing against Whoopster and Serial Killer, no sex serial killer. Um, and we are Red Protoss. Starting off not with much, I think we're going to go ahead and try to do a fast expand here. Uh, and I'm not sure, I guess I am building. So we do go ahead and create a Nexus first before the gateway. And uh, this guy has gone ahead and went and created a gateway. This is our very first um, game in our road to diamond. We are now platinum. So we've been on the road to diamond for quite a while now. It is pretty challenging, but I think we're maybe close to getting to diamond. So we'll see how that goes. Um... I thought for a second he was going to go ahead and steal that assimilator there, but it seems like he has not. Right now I'm drinking apple cider from Costco, uh, and it is really good. And I got some Lay's chips, but I don't want to. I don't want to eat those right now because they are so crunchy. I don't. I don't think that would be good. I don't think that'd be fair to you guys, but. I don't know if you guys like Costco, if you guys know Costco outside of the United States, but yeah, they got some good good stuff for cheap there. I have a pretty bad description of Costco, but anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. We're going to go ahead to Gateway Cybernetics Core, and Nexus is coming out pretty soon as well. So a pretty standard build on both sides. I think we did get an expansion sooner. So we'll see if that plays to our favor. Oh, he's gonna go with triple expansion. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the APM is. As usual, our APM is really low. 70. No upgrades being made. We are making the Mothership Core, and he is not making a Mothership Core. Uh, but he is getting a third base. No units. Structure is pretty much equivalent, except for the fact that he has a third Nexus. We both have two gateways and a Cybernetics Core. We uh, He has more probes than us, so... Um, yeah, we're, we're going to go ahead and grab our third as well. Uh, to counteract that hopefully and we're gonna go ahead and create a stargate we did set off the photon overcharge so I'm not sure why we did that I guess we did that so we could kill his probe so um, yeah not much going on here I guess I could share other things that I've been thinking about doing with the channel I'm hoping to put in some cool movie clip intros at the very start of the um, at the very start of the video so that creates a little bit more of a cinematic and professional feel to the videos and I'm also going to start uploading them at I think uh, I'm going to try to use more threads in the rendering which I think should make it uh, create make it render at a higher quality I am already playing the game in the highest quality but I'm going to go ahead and start trying to uh, message that more in some of the titles um, and hopefully we can create a, get a new icon um, that looks a little bit more professional and maybe, uh, I guess that's about it. That's about it, guys. Uh, maybe some 
ums battle the user map setting games as well i can uh, think about doing that as well as well as potentially uploading some food foodie content some food videos uh so yeah those are kind of what i have top of mind Ooh, oh, hopefully i can get some of those done tons of gateways coming down right here of gateways that's like three four five six seven eight like nine gateways is that right that is crazy <clears throat> no units other than two two oracles so sorry guys this is not a super eventful game <laughs> uh, but we are gonna see oracles coming on from both sides we're gonna do a little multi print multi prong harassment and he's gonna go ahead and warp in some DTs probes are going down he does not have and another one going in from the other side so tons of workers getting killed right here the multi-prong oracle attack he d does go ahead and create some archons uh, but not before we killed 26 probes guys we were able to take down 26 probes uh whoops which is not bad at all not bad at all guys so you lost 27 and 13 15 resources so oracles are pretty awesome guys i would highly recommend uh using oracles as a way to harass um, early game as well as mid to late game they are pretty good to get like a 68 oracles to just have map awareness and take down uh, expansions as well as contribute to your big team fights oracles are definitely one of the most underrated um, units I think in Starcraft although depending on who you talk to I don't see them enough, or I don't see them as much as I think maybe they should be used, so I guess that's why I'm saying they're underrated, but let's go ahead and see what is going to go ahead and happen here. We do have five oracles, and he's got a couple DTs coming this way, but we should be okay. We have photon cannons and stalkers and immortals guarding our base, and we do have that third base and another oracle run coming in here. Go ahead and see how this goes. Whoop. Look at this. Archon is gonna go bye bye. See? I'm telling you guys. And no, and this Oracle didn't really take that much damage. Second Archon goes bye bye. I guess goes bye bye is a really weird phrase. I don't know why I'm talking like that. Uh, yeah, so we get a bunch more kills. He's lost 50 units now. Uh, this is not looking good for Protoss. Uh, his worker count is probably really low. Well, he's, at, he's still got 46 probes, but we've got maybe a third more than him. 50 to 75, yeah, roughly a third. This DT rush did not pay off. And uh, we're not, we're, I guess we're just gonna go mass oracle now, guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've got eight oracles. And I think we're just gonna go ahead and try to take him out with oracles. We got a couple star grades here. On the upgrades, we're still at one one on attack and one one shield, uh, plus one shield for blue. So he, did, he is doing a better job of attack or of upgrades than we are. Uh, here we go again. Taking down the photon cannon here. And his expansion is going to go down with eight oracles. Look at this, guys. The nexus is going to fall within... I mean, what would you say that was? Like 10 seconds? 15 seconds? Um, he does have one phoenix out, so that's not going to be good for us. We're going to have to go ahead and run away. 
The Phoenix, I believe, is... Whoa. Okay. I guess it's faster than, a, than, the, than the Oracle, for sure. 5.6 to... 5.95. Yeah! I didn't have to look up the numbers to see that the Phoenix is way faster than the Oracle. Taking down all our Oracles, actually. That was pretty good. One Phoenix took down, like, five or four Oracles, so... But I believe we do now have enough of a ground uh, army to go ahead and take him out now that we have disrupted his economy with the oracles. So let's go ahead and see how this battle goes down. He is going to go ahead and take a fifth base. Um, but I think he is quite behind economically. Uh, so let's go ahead and see how this goes. Big army right here. He is warping in a bunch of DTs, but we do have an observer right there. And we're going to go ahead and take down his fourth base. Oracles are coming in from the side. We go ahead and take down his DTs. And uh, no sack serial killer has left the game. So that was pretty much the Oracle harass strategy, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. Uh, please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, or sharing. And if you do, guys, if you guys do have any suggestions on strategies that you'd like for us to try to use, please go ahead and leave them in the comments below. I will talk to you guys later, and have a great, wonderful rest of the day. Bye.